Hello guys and welcome back to the Lewis Phillips Guitar Channel and today we're going to be listening to another Bad Omen song and that song is Artificial Suicide. Now I've already listened to The Death of Peace and Mind, that was really good, really different to what they're usually sounding like but you know what? It got me hyped for the album that comes out in literally, I don't know, 20 days, 19 days, depends when this comes out, I can't remember. 25th of Feb, there you go. But yeah, so we got another music video this week and I'm just going to put my headphones on, we're going to listen to it and we're going to see what it's about. Is it going to be a lot heavier than the last one? Is it going to be back to their roots in a way? I feel like the last single they brought out was quite new, quite look what how we've changed, look how we've evolved over time. Even the last one was quite heavy, but you know what I mean, it was quite like a slow burner kind of song. I want some fucking thrash, fucking head banging everywhere and going absolutely crazy. So let's go. Okay, here we go. Nice and red. Liking the vibe already. Oh, we've got some chugginess in the background there. Oh. I'm liking the synth. It's kind of like wheezing, if you know what I mean. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm after. We got a lot of different electronics going on here. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I wanted. For the broken youth Can you hear me through the white noise? Friend A cheers to the life you don't get to choose Another any Christ on the evening news Can you hear me through the white noise? Can you hear me through the white noise? Ooh Are we gonna have a drop? I don't know Yeah! Not another maggot in the face That Let's stop there, we're halfway through already. I really need to learn how to can't commentate on these and talk. Really getting into this, this is exactly what I wanted to hear when I was uh, talking about it before the video actually started. Really like heavy and like aggressive sounding to the vocals there, kind of only what was teased in um, The Death of Peace of Mind. I loved like the Bad Omens album where it was just completely raw and just, you could feel so much emotion between it and through it and all that kind of shit. That is what I want to hear here. <laughs> An absolute banger of a song and I'm so glad I'm listening to it. I'm loving the chorus, it's really catchy. I'm loving how he's kind of like saying like artificial suicide. It's very really like over um, pronouncing the syllables. Really enjoying this, I'm liking the music video. It's funny actually, because before I listened to the death of Peace of Mind, I actually never knew what these guys looked like. Sometimes I was just thinking of like a really long haired like kind of guy. You know, he's quite a petite looking, you know, don't get me wrong, he's all tattooed up. He looks like he goes hard. It's crazy putting like a, a face to the actual band that I've been listening to for so long. I've never actually been bothered to see what they look like, you know. It's kind of got a little bit of Slipknot vibes to it, in a way. A little bit. Just like the aggressive, like, constant like, talking over, you know, really, like, fast-paced vocals. Oh, see, we didn't, we didn't have this long pause there. I like this. That was a really good breakdown, like, transition there. It's not the heaviest breakdown yet, but are we going to get something else? There it is. And I, I can't describe these sips in the background, but I love them. <laughs> you can hear that kind of like extra drum beat there, it's just like carrying the song through. Ooh. You can hear the pitch rising at the end. 
It's a way to cut off a song, isn't it? That was brilliant. I really like the kind of like effort that they've put into this music video. I really like the little gimmicks, and like, as I said, like the cut and transition at the end. Proper high energetic, like adrenaline hitting song. Everything that I was expecting to hear when I listened to the last song as well. I can see why this album is so hyped. I've seen a lot of people like really looking forward to this album online and I can see completely why. I just wish I'd known about it sooner. Artificial Suicide, The Death of Peace of Mind, two absolute killers, let's say. Hopefully Like a Villain is going to be exactly the same there as well. Not really much else to like comment on that song there. I think I went over it quite a lot throughout the song. You can definitely tell that they've changed a lot since their like older stuff. Don't get me wrong, there's still elements to it. It's still the same band. I know, as I said in the last video as well, they've really stepped up to another level. They could definitely be seen like as one of like the, one of the big standout bands, I think, in, in years to come, or maybe even this year, who knows? Let's see how the album goes, um, which, you know, isn't too far away. So yeah, let me know what you thought about this song. Which is your favorite single out of all three of them so far? Do you think we'll get another one before the album comes out? That'll be interesting. I, I hope so, because, you know, I'm a little bit greedy like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.